How you doing guys? Uh, we're going to take a look at the new Color Finale version 1.6 that came out. Uh, it also incorporates the Color Finale Pro which gives you um, a couple of more options and now when you upgrade to version 1.6 um, now the Pro version won't be enabled until you uh, obviously upgrade to the Pro version. We're going to cover some of the things that the Pro version does have and we're going to cover that now. In fact, I guess we can put the pro version on here. Um, now, I don't have the pro version, so it's going to be widened out, but I'm still going to talk about it. Um, it does have a little bit different look here. And uh, it also has where you can group them together in the pro version, but here it, uh, it obviously doesn't work for me. We're going to open it up now. You click on the gear symbol right here. Now, uh, besides uh, the use of the color checker passport video they added this uh, thing on the top and here you enable color management which is uh, uses ACES um, standard and I'm going to show you what that is which is the Academy color encoding system that's made by um, the Academy Awards same uh, people and uh, it gives you that option now and which breaks it down into the type of camera you use. Um, it could be Sony Log or whatever, Canon Log, and then you can output it to different standards, and then here you can uh, do exposure, temperature, and tint as well. Uh, that's one of the changes. And I'm gonna cover some of the, uh, um, I believe that's uh, about it on that anyway. Uh, there, the color wheels are a bit different now. Um, obviously you have the wheels as normal. You also have uh, the type where you can use sliders which cover the um, red, green, and blue spectrum. And here I could show you here, uh, right here. And it also changes it, uh, the wheel slider as well. So that's uh, another option you have uh, with that. And uh, before we go ahead and Go into the rest of it. We're going to do a quick um, color correction uh, before we. I show you the uh, next new feature that they added uh, as well, and we're going to cover that. We're going to bring the mids up a little bit to my liking, and we're going to bring the. There we go, just like so. Okay, just like that. Now, uh, what's new in this version? It now has color pickers, and for for the uh, gain, gamma, and lift, or shadows, midtones, and highlights. And this is great if you want to uh, uh, give an example. Uh, white balance is a really good use of this. Now, I don't know if it's primarily for white balance, or you can use it for other things. Obviously, you could probably use it for other things, which I'm not sure about at this point. But for instance, um, we can go to the uh, the highlights or gain, uh, click on this, and sometimes it doesn't always work very well, so I usually do it twice. And here you can choose the color, and it also covers the red and green and blue balance. So usually I like to try to get them as even as possible, and then uh, that will provide you with some uh, better white balance and you can actually do that on the shadows or lift as well to get you even a better uh, white balance and we're gonna click on that and usually you gotta select obviously the shadows or the darkest part of the image and uh, like I said um, this doesn't entirely work correctly and uh, there we go we're gonna go ahead and choose that and uh, there it's actually um, color balanced quite well and then we can even go into secondary color correction. Um, now, I believe the, as far as I know, the Color Finale 1.6 and even the Pro version, supposedly it supports the new uh, Mac OS Sierra. Uh, from what I understand, to get it to work once you upgrade, or I don't know if prior versions has that as well. You simply go to the Color Finale right here and uh, of course you can check for updates which I re recommend anyway before 
You do that and you would simply uh, restart Final Cut Pro X and it will actually include uh, support for Sierra and it should work. There you go, that's the uh, new version of Color Finale and Color Finale Pro uh, version 1.6.